Okay, girlies, let's get into this hairstyle. Today, I'm going to be showing you how it is that you can achieve longer mini braids, fuller mini braids using this easy method. Depending on how it is that you braid, you may need to section off the front of your hair first before you begin the style. I'm actually sectioning off the front of my head and I'm going to be putting that section into a big braid for later. The hair that I'm going to be using to help me to achieve the style is called the Afro Kinky Bulk and I have it in this beautiful reddish auburnish color. The hair comes pre-sectioned so I'm taking each section and pulling apart a little bit of hair since we are only going to be using it on the ends of our hair. So you want to start off by sectioning your hair for braiding. I'm using a hair wax or you can use edge control at the base of your hair before you begin braiding. I actually start off the section by doing a regular braid all the way down the shaft of my hair. When I have about an inch of hair left, that is when I start to add the Afro Kinky hair to the ends. But instead of braiding it all the way down my hair, I actually twist it in to make the style a little easier to do. So I just twist it all the way down until I have nothing left to twist. I'm going to be showing you guys a few more times how it is that we do it. First, you add your hair wax to the base of your hair just to ensure that it is smooth when you are braiding. Then you begin the braid using your natural hair. You don't have to add any hair to this if you don't want to. I'm actually just braiding my own hair and I'm braiding it all the way down until I have about an inch of hair left. That is when I'm going to be adding the Afro Kinky Bulk hair. We just want to add it to the ends because we just want to make the braids a little bit longer and a little bit fuller looking. And instead of braiding it in my hair, I'm actually just twisting the ends, twisting the hair, twisting it all the way down until I have nothing left to twist. Finally finished with the back, just in the process. It's looking good so far. So I'm gonna go ahead now and start with the front. I'm taking down the front of my hair and then I'm going to be doing this again to the front of my hair. Add the wax to the base because I want the braids to be smooth and neat. Braid your hair all the way down the hair shaft until you have about an inch of hair left. That is when you're going to be adding the Afro Kinky Bulk hair to the ends of it. So what I like to do, I like to take it section, section by section. So I twist the Afro Kinky hair over one section and then I twist it over the other section, almost as if you're doing a rope twist. And then I hold it at the base of the braid and then I just twist, twist it all the way down. If you know how to do rope twists, if you know how to do Senegalese twists, this will come easier for you. I really hope I am explaining it as best as I can. I really am trying. But after finish twisting, that is what you will end up with. A nice little curl at the end of your hair. Just to give your hair, like I said before, a fuller look and a longer look. Now a little bit of facts on this hairstyle, I actually kept this hair in for I think about 2 months but I would not recommend you keep it in that long. You actually need to remove it maybe after about 4 weeks because you do run the risk of having your hair getting locked like matted to where it's going to turn into locks and I've had that happen to me with this hairstyle so I'm just giving you a fair warning try and see if you can remove this hairstyle maybe after four weeks depending on the texture of your hair the hair that I use the Afro Kinky Bulk hair I didn't use all of it I actually had a lot more hair left over so 
you know i will be running this style back a few more times this hairstyle is actually like a remix to the style that i did a couple years ago where i twisted my hair and then added in the afro kinky bulk hair at the end i'm actually going to be linking that video for reference in case you want to try it that way instead so you can actually braid the hair and add in the afro kinky bulk or you can twist your hair and add in the afro kinky bulk so you can let me know in the comment section down below which technique you will be trying this style didn't take me that long to do i think it took me maybe about six hours because i wasn't really using like any canicle on hair to braid my hair i was actually just braiding my own natural hair so it didn't take long the longest and most tedious part of the process is actually the adding in of the hair which is understandable you know you have to slow down a little bit when you're adding in hair and i really wanted to ensure that this hair was staying in and you know was not getting loose during the coming weeks so i really did enjoy this style i got a lot of compliments on this style This is the hair completed you know the parts are crispy and neat the hair is giving length it's giving body it's giving this is my hair and i only colored the ends and i really did enjoy this style like i said i got a lot of compliments so now we are going to be shaping the hair and by shaping i actually just mean cutting the ends the, the raggedy ends the loose ends that maybe a little bit unsightly we just want the style to be as neat as possible so we are just trimming and making sure the ends are nice the ends are neat and you know it's looking really good the next thing i did was to add some mousse of course just to ensure that the hair can be a little bit neater you know to tame those flyaways especially on the ends we are adding synthetic hair to the ends and it is curly so a little mousse will help it to maintain the curliness and you know to help the hair to stay fresh this is one way you can actually refresh the braids if you choose to you can add your sprays or you can add a little bit of mousse so this is what we're looking like at the end of it all i really enjoyed this style i love the curls i love the length I just love everything about this style thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos and i will see you soon bye